emailed about his song from Ronan Keating, When You Say Nothing At All. And Ross writes, Richard, my song takes me back to a very special time in my life, 15 years ago, when our baby daughter was brand new. It was a lovely time in our life, and my wife was absolutely besotted with our new daughter, Brittany. I got such pleasure out of watching them together, and I couldn't wait to see what they'd been up to and where they'd been. It always amazed me what they'd been doing. My wife, Michelle, had previously worked right up to our daughter's birth. She had a very demanding job, so Michelle took great advantage in having time off. She would hop in the car and go visiting friends up the central coast to show off her new daughter. Or perhaps she'd go on a shopping expedition somewhere she hadn't been. Or she would simply meet up with relatives for coffee. In addition, she would change her outfits three or four times a day as if she was playing dress-ups with a little doll. Anyway, every night she was up for the 2am feed and she would put a CD on and play Ronan Keating's song often. You say it best when you say nothing at all. Of course, the song fits perfectly because naturally in those days Brittany couldn't say anything at all. I would come down the stairs and almost have a tear in my eye as these two had their mutual admiration society going. Michelle would be feeding Brittany and singing along softly with the song, which was, to me, half lullaby, half love song. My particular song has gone down in our family's folklore, and every time it comes on the radio these days, Brittany quickly pipes up, that's my song. She certainly found her voice these days, and both mother and daughter often sing along with gusto. Richard, I must admit, I sit there quietly smiling to myself and reminiscing about those quiet times when our baby was so small and helpless. Ross. Thank you, Ross. Lovely memory. And the song at the heart of it, here it is.